Hey guys, Mitch here. Hope you're all doing well. You guys asked for it. We're doing it. Let's go racing. That's enough introduction. Let's get to it. All right, as we kick this one off, so I didn't get a chance to qualify for this one. So by the time I jumped into the actual lobby itself, I think there's 20 seconds left until the race began. So I started in dead last, which if I'm honest, I wasn't too disappointed with. Like obviously I would have liked to have been closer to the front, but I think being at the back, given my inexperience in online racing, probably wasn't necessarily a bad thing. It kind of gave me a chance to just take it a bit easy. Um, kind of let everyone sort themselves out and kind of find their groove. Gave me chances to make a few mistakes. Um, but you guys will see like, so I had, I was not warmed up or didn't, wasn't used to the car, didn't really, know the car on this track very well so there's a few mistakes that come out of this one um, I kind of follow Neustru, Neustru, sorry, uh, a bit wide on this one I was kind of using him as a bit of a reference and it's probably a mistake on my part but it didn't pan out too badly as you'd expect the first lap is usually pretty scrappy uh, there was a lot of crashing in this as you'll see once we get around the corner here there are Kind of all over the shop really. Thank God they ghost mode there because that could have been a bad time for us. So we're just going to slot in behind the guy from Hong Kong. Uh, just going to stick behind him and the absolute Aussie there and just wait for an opportunity to make a move. They've taken each other out. So again, easy positions. Another guy crashed in front of us. Not too bad overall. We're up into 12th place. Um, I do enjoy this track, it's one of my favourite tracks to race around. Uh, I can get pretty quick at it if I've got enough time to practice it. Um, but yeah, the uh, Japanese guy in front of us has kind of messed that up a bit. It gave us, we didn't necessarily get past him because I came in with a big slide there, but it gave us an opportunity to get right up on his bumper, put a bit of, put a bit of pressure on. I've had a Porsche go off track again there, thankfully he uh, went to the Shadow Realm just as we got around the corner there. So we are currently up to 10th, which I don't think is too bad in the first lap, given I'm playing pretty cautiously. I'm just, as I said, my focus at the moment. There's a little bit of a side on there, but it wasn't a heavy contact. The main focus is trying to keep out of trouble and try to keep it clean, which I think I did a relatively good job this race of doing. I didn't get into too much trouble. Everyone kind of crashed around me or spun out around me. Up into eighth place, overtaking the, uh, the Japanese driver there. Relatively tidy race, if I'm honest. By my standards, it was quite cautious. Um, I wasn't pushing overly hard. It was just trying to just get around in a decent time. I wasn't far off the, uh, the actual pace of the leaders after the first couple of laps. So if I really wanted to, I probably could have gone again and done the same race and another one off the track. There seems to be a lot of that in this race. So we're down to seventh. And then we pretty much just hold seventh for the, the rest of the race, pretty much. There's not really a lot of uh, interesting stuff that goes on here. It was kind of nice for me because I just got to sort of sit back and relax a little bit, try to learn the car, try to learn the track. As I said, I still make a few mistakes around, like going a bit wide in the corner though. But I do slowly catch up to these guys in front. Um, but I don't think I ever get close enough to actually make a move on them. Too many little mistakes like this. But you know, that's, that's racing. You gotta live and learn. So from this point on, it was more just, I've got some clean air, there's no one around me. There is a car behind me, but he's, we've got a decent lead on him. If you look down at the radar, so kind of in open space, just gives you the opportunity to sort of take a step back and just sort of relax the brain a little bit and just focus on the actual driving lines. And yeah, just try to work on your lap times basically. So you can already see I'm about three, my last lap was three seconds below the top, like the fastest lap for this race. And then over the next couple of laps, that time actually gets cut down. I think I get down to like a 125, like a low 125 or a mid 125 by the end. But it's just the difference it makes when you're stuck in traffic first, when you're racing in open air. 
your uh, times can get infinitely better. Unless you've got like a single person on a straight or something where you can slipstream, you might pick up a little, little bit of a lead there. But my focus from here was just consistency. Let's we'll see if we can get the car around the track nicely. Thankfully, I didn't have any big crashes. Yeah, that, that's pretty much it. I don't really have much else to, uh, to comment on for this one. There's two laps of this race left and it was just to keep it tidy, just try not to do anything dumb. And then hope that the guys in front might have, but I think what's happened is that I feel like there might have been a bit of a skill gap in this lobby. So there's, like you can see on the map up above, there's a lot of people still crashing and spinning out. So I don't know if it was just the top guys are now at the front and they're all sort of at the top end of this lobby skill range and then the other one, which would kind of make sense, I guess I feel like I would normally be in the middle. Uh, not great, but I'm not bad, if that makes sense. So we are slowly tracking this guy down. I'm pretty sure he's in a Supra, I think. It's either Supra or a Porsche. Can't quite tell from here yet. I could jump up and have a look at him. But, there you go. He's in a Porsche. So, we're slowly just trying to track him down. Lap times, they're not super fast yet, but they're getting quicker. Well, actually, technically, I guess that last one got slower, but you know what I mean. It's getting more, it's consistent. There you go, we are getting quicker. So that was my new best lap time, a 125.899. Starting to get a feel for the car by this point. I felt like the confidence was starting to rise a fair bit. Slowly chasing this Porsche down, but I think we're going to run out of track before we run out of laps before we can actually get past him. He's relatively consistent. Like I didn't really see him make any mistakes, easy visible mistakes anyway. So I kind of I try my best to chase him down. We get close. I just don't think we had enough track to actually fully catch up to him. And given this race was so close in terms of like car performance as well, which is actually my favorite kind of racing. I like it where it comes down to purely a skill thing and not a car thing. I think that's the most interesting racing, but I, don't know, I think that's why I like the V8s and that sort of stuff. F1 to a, an extent as well. I'm not the biggest F1 fan on the planet. I still watch it if it's on, but it's not one that I'm going to be getting up at three in the morning to watch like a few of my mates are. I wouldn't say I'm heavily involved in that world. So yeah, so that was pretty much the fourth online race I have ever done. And if I'm honest, I'm pretty happy with how that went. It was relatively clean. We sort of only had one minor contact in the first, first corner, I think it was, where we were a little bit side by side. Um, but other than that, we kept our nose out of trouble. We went from 16th place to 7th. And if I'm honest, not too displeased with that. Alrighty guys, straight into the time trial. This is the Nürburgring GP track. We're in the 2016 Cayman GT4. Not my favorite car in the game, if I'm honest. Um, it's not a bad car, but I think the problem I have with a lot of these uh, time trial challenges, they usually give you rubbish tires to try and set fast times on. I get it adds to the challenge. So, but I don't know, I just, I feel like you get some more performance stuff. And if everyone had like racing softs, like the best of the best, you'd see some ridiculously fast times. So I'm sure that's not what their intention is. That's why they give us the slow tires. But yeah, in this car, I found it gave us a lot of understeer. Uh, I tend to wash out through a lot of corners if you carry just a tiny bit too much speed or you're on the brakes a little bit too long. Uh, it was a bit of a handful, if I'm honest. So not the easiest car to get these laps done in. And the track itself is actually quite tricky. Uh, it took me a little while, a few laps in, before I managed to get a hang and a feel for the track. Uh, particularly the, the little hairpin corner down the bottom there. It took me a while to figure out how to get like the weird little slingshot approach to it, which I think I only managed to do in maybe two of the laps. Uh, you'll see it in the fastest lap. I kind of turned it into like a triangle corner rather than a smooth, like long round curve. It was kind of like an in and a straight line, sharp turn out on a straight line, but it seemed to make it out really fast. So I don't know if anyone else is doing that. 
who knows, let me know if that's how you do it as well, but it worked for me. Uh, didn't quite get to gold this time, or yet. I'll still be playing this until the, the challenge is done. If I can get to gold, happy days. I'll post an update in the chat below. Um, but at this stage, I think I'm 0.3 off a gold medal time, which isn't too, too bad. I mean, I only, I've only done six laps of this track, so I'm pretty happy with how it went for six laps. But yeah, I'm not going to make you guys sit here and watch all six laps of this. Uh, we'll get through the first one, and then honestly, like laps two, three, four, and five were all pretty uneventful. It was basically the same thing. We were within like 0.2 of a second of each other for each lap, and then lap six was the fast one, so I'll cut to that one. Um, but for the, the laps between now and then, I'm just going to cut to the end part where we're crossing the finish line, and you can see the total times, and then I'll let the fast lap at the end play through, and we should be all good from there. Alright, we are on to the sixth lap. This was our fastest lap of this session. Um, if I'm honest, I don't exactly know what I did differently on this one than the previous ones. I honestly felt like I didn't do anything, it just sort of worked out better. Whether or not I fluked it, but I mean, I was gradually getting quicker, so... But I mean, this was significantly faster than any other lap I'd done, so... It could have been a bit of luck involved in this one. I think a lot of it was I got this first part relatively tidy. Uh, the previous laps were kind of a little bit sloppy through there, and especially the, the little hairpin at the bottom of the hill. I really struggled to get that one fast. So I think I kind of managed to put it all together in this one a bit. I got didn't really make too many mistakes. There's still a little bit there. I honestly, I think I've got time that I could still pull out of this if I sit there for a little bit longer and give it another crack. Uh, I may do that throughout the week if I've got nothing else to do. We'll see how we go. Yeah, so this corner, I managed to get the slingshot effect out of it, where you can kind of... You take it a little bit wide, and it kind of makes a sharper one once you hit the sort of edge of the road, but you get more straight line speed as you're coming out of it. It took me a few laps to figure that one out. But once I did, it kind of... It knocked a fair amount of time off my, off my lap times. This was the other corner that I was religiously blowing through every time and it took me a few laps to figure out the braking points for it and how fast I could actually throw it throw it through so I'm pretty sure my normal split time for there was sort of high 141s low 142s so all the previous laps I've done so we're about two seconds ahead and then I always lose time through here I was just never never good at getting it quick but I mean, overall, I was pretty happy with how this lap went. It was the, by far the smoothest lap I did the entire race. And as I said, at the end, I think we were 0.3 off a gold medal time, which I kind of want to try and get because I don't have many gold medals to my name in this game. So, so there we go, 2.14.694. Time to beat if you guys are playing along at home. If you can beat it or get close to it, let me know what your times are. Even if you don't get close to it, let me know what your times are in the comments. I'd love to see how you guys are all tracking, see how we all compare against each other. Nothing wrong with a little bit of friendly competition. Obviously there's nothing nasty about it, it's just for a bit of fun. Okay guys, that wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Something a little bit different. I haven't really done pure racing content like this before, so it's a bit of a learning curve for me. As such, I appreciate the feedback that you guys always give me, so let me know which things you liked, which things you didn't like, things you want me to change, for instance, if you want more driving footage on the wheel versus the commentary style I tried for this one. Um, as always, guys, if you've got any questions about the gear I'm running, I'll leave a list of what I'm actually running in the comments, but leave me a question in the comments section. I do my best to reply to everyone. Failing that, guys, thanks for hanging out. I'll hopefully catch you all on the next one. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. 
and I'll catch you later. Stay safe.